Beetlejuice. 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 Obviously, I'm not Beetlejuice, but I'm here to tell you some things that you might not have noticed about Beetlejuice, specifically the rule of three. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. With those three words, the mischievous, troublemaking bio exorcist is summoned straight from the netherworld. But why three times? Well, the movie never outright tells us. But in the strange and spooky world of Beetlejuice, the number three has some serious supernatural power. Curious? Well, let's dive in and uncover the magic behind this number. Now first off, remember the dog that accidentally, or was it, sent the maidens to the watery grave? Well, that little canine appears three times. Once, as it trots toward the bridge. Again, when Adam spots it on the road. And finally, at the last faithful moment, when it hops off the plank, sealing the maidens to their doom. Now, look at the Deeds family. It's another trio. Charles, Julia, and Lydia, a quirky family of three trying to settle into a haunted house with their own blend of weirdness. And how long were the maitlands stuck in that dreary waiting room before the meeting with our caseworker, Juno? Three months. Three months. Oh, and they only have three consultations with her. Plus, to even enter the netherworld, they have to draw a door and knock three times. Sensing a pattern here? Still need more proof of the power of three? All right then. The Maitlands make three attempts to scare the Deeps family before they're forced to summon Beetlejuice. The infamous sandworm pops up not once, not twice, but three times. And Beetlejuice himself? He gets called on three times, once by Adam. It's him. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Go ahead, Barbara, say it. Beetlejuice. Once again by Barbara to send him back to the model. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, no. And finally by Lydia. Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. Even behind the scenes, the filmmakers stuck to rule of three. The house is three stories tall. And a lot of the key scenes feature exactly three characters on camera at the same time. And of course, let's not forget, comedy loves the rule of three. And it looks like the afterlife does too. So, thank you for taking this journey through the netherworld with me. If you've enjoyed this eerie explanation, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss a trip back into the strange and unusual.